Skill-based matchmaking, we've all heard of it, we may even play games that have it, and we've also seen the hate against it. But is it really as bad as some people make it out to be? People seem to love it when I just give them the answer at the beginning of the video, but the answer isn't black or white, as it depends on the game and the type of gamer you are. I don't think I need to explain what skill-based matchmaking is, but in case you don't know, it's a system that pairs players based on their individual performance to make a more balanced experience for everyone. Some gamers see this as a good thing, while others think it's a bad thing. But why? I'm going to use Call of Duty as an example since most of the people that complain about skill-based matchmaking are coming from that franchise. I always tell people that Call of Duty is the best example of a basic, generic, easy to pick up first person shooter. All you really have to know is how to move, how to aim, how to shoot, and you're basically set for life. Sure, each game has some little gimmicks such as sliding, mounting, or exo movements, but really it only takes like 5 minutes to learn the gimmick, which isn't a bad thing, but it is what it is. The only issue with COD being so generic is that it makes average gamers feel like gods as they roll a bunch of little kids that barely know how to use a controller. You would either find this really fun or really boring. Before I go on, I need to explain that fun is subjective, and what that means is that fun Fun to me might not be what fun is to you, or your friend, and so on so forth. When other YouTubers talk about skill-based matchmaking, they always mention the rhetorical question, remember when multiplayer games were meant to be fun? Uh, yeah, I just had fun 5 minutes ago playing Valorant, but my kind of fun isn't their kind of fun. I like games where I could come back and learn something new, or master something I already know, which is why I gravitate towards games like Counter-Strike and Valorant. I don't play those games because I destroy a bunch of little kids every match, I play it for the mind games of working with my teammates, clearing corners, placing well strategized smokes and grenades, and winning duels by outsmarting and out-aiming my opponents. It's the reason why I've spent thousands of hours of my life not only playing these games, but also also experimenting with settings, practicing my aim, and watching pros give advice on these games, and applying those skills to my own matches. On the other hand, a lot of Call of Duty fans find destroying a bunch of little kids fun, and that's what makes them come back to the franchise. Skill-based matchmaking basically tells those kind of players to go screw themselves by balancing each match, meaning you'll face a player as good as you are, or better every other match. While no one really knows exactly how the game balances the lobbies, the most common rumor is that it bases each player off their KD ratio from their most recent games. I'll get to that part in a little bit. I think most COD fans are upset at this because they actually have to put some effort into the game for once, but since they're so used to destroying a bunch of little kids that don't know what they're doing, they're either moving on to other games, or moving back to other Call of Duty games that didn't have skill-based matchmaking, or even quitting multiplayer games altogether. Now, look, I understand that people just want to chill after a stressful day of school or work and just want to burn their brain out for a few hours. What I don't like is the fact that some players are conditioned that they need to feel like a god in their multiplayer lobbies or else the game isn't fun. Some gamers have this unrealistic expectation that they need to always have a positive KD ratio, dropping nukes every other game while hitting nutty trick shots without even trying. What these gamers are looking for is a co-op experience in multiplayer lobbies. I can remember watching a video talking about about how he was against skill-based matchmaking by saying it makes the games boring because he's not dropping the usual 30 bombs, or he can't hit trick shots anymore, which made it sound like all he wanted to do was pub stomp a bunch of 12 year olds every day of the week, which is, again, kind of unrealistic. If you look at the reason why skill-based matchmaking is a thing, it's to make sure that new players have an enjoyable experience without feeling like they can't even walk out of spawn. What people seem to forget is that there are still people out there that have yet to touch a video game, let alone a multiplayer game, and throwing them into a pit full of players that have thousands of hours of FPS experience is a huge no-no. One would argue that we all had to do it, so new players doing the same wouldn't be so bad. While it's true my generation of gamers had to learn this way, back then we were all new to multiplayer player games since online console gaming back then was a new concept. We've had well over a decade to master our craft and now the skill ceiling for even a casual experience has risen exponentially, so developers need to compensate for those new players to get them into the game. Whether or not you mind skill-based matchmaking in your games, I may have a solution that not only allows new players to learn and enjoy the game, but also have veterans get that random skill pairing like what we had a decade ago. That solution is to base each match on the player's in-game level. Not a rank, but like a numbered level, remember those things? Just because you're a Prestige 5, it doesn't mean you're some god of gaming, it just means you have a lot of time put into the game. Pairing players based on that would make multiplayer lobbies somewhat random skilled in higher level 
leveled lobbies, while new players that haven't even reached the first prestige can still learn the game from the ground up with other new players instead of the old random skill paired setting where the game would put new players up against prestige master players making the game a completely one-sided slaughterhouse. Or better yet, do what Rainbow Six did and add a completely separate playlist for newcomers specifically. This is why I couldn't just give you a yes or no answer at the beginning of the video as I usually do. Yes, skill based matchmaking might be annoying for some, but it may be necessary for certain aspects of the game, but also not necessarily in others. What about adding a ranked mode you may ask for those that want to quote unquote sweat their dicks off? Yes, adding a ranked mode could help in games that don't already have it, but ranked modes usually modify the game in certain ways, such as making the game modes longer or removing certain weapons and abilities. So you can't just slap a ranked mode into the game and call it a day as it just won't be the same. And if you're one of those people that loves to blame esports for your lack of skill or the reason why you're not having fun, I made a whole different video talking about how the rise of esports was inevitable to happen. You can't prevent the inevitable. Skill based matchmaking overall isn't a terrible idea. It just needs to be properly implemented for both newcomers and veterans of whatever game you're playing. It's also the issue of my generation of gamers not wanting to work for their games anymore. They're either too busy or too lazy to get good at games, so they just want to show up and be good. And that you can't really fix as that's a personal issue that gamers themselves have to deal with. All I can say about that is that gamers need to lower their expectations a bit. You're not always going to pub stop every match you play, you're not always going to do well in general, there will always be a player better than you. If you don't like the sounds of that, then multiplayer might not be for you. That is going to be it for today's video. What are you guys' thoughts on skill based matchmaking? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you have any suggestions to make it better? Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe for more content. Content, and I'll talk to you all 